All right, guys, I got something special for you today. We're gonna port this RV26. I'm gonna show you exactly how I poured it, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of instruction. We got a lot going on, so let's get to it. First thing you're gonna see is me take the head games 5.8 Super Spallaber, and we're gonna shape the intake port. Now, one thing I want to note is how this burr lends itself to just being the perfect option for this. And that's because that the shape mimics the shape of the port because it's round and it's big. So you don't have to shape all up here um, in, a, in a manner with a smaller burr. So it basically is the shape. So when I say that, I mean that you can see that this is a radius and then the radius kind of follows that same line. So when you're doing this, you don't have to really, really, really shape it. So what I'm talking about here is if you use a half inch, say, the half inch, you have to really shape it. You have to keep the shape. And when you use a smaller burr, when you're trying to keep a shape, that usually means you're gonna get out of shape. Now I go back in here after roughing it in. So we poured it with the big one and then I come back in with the smaller one because the shape's already there. And that is how you work smarter, not harder by trying to shape this whole thing. If you're gonna take a bunch of meat out, you don't want to have to make the shape per se uh, with a small burr. You really want the bigger burr because our circle is really hard to make. All right, so one thing that we should be paying attention to is this area underneath the valve seat called the bowl. The bowl area is the most crucial area of any cylinder head on the planet. And RB26, you can see that there's a brand new RB26 and it has this little machined area underneath the bowl. Nissan knows what they're doing. So when I measured off camera, I put the, this little doohickey in here and I measured, we are 87% of the size of the valve, which is a great starting point. It's not where we're gonna end up. That is where we're gonna end up. I am not giving out that, but that is also kind of an opinion. Size of where you want to go or you got to go on the flow bench. But I can tell you that if you make this area too big, you'll hurt it too small. That's OK. I'd rather be too small and too big here because you'll destroy the cylinder head. Bigger is not better right here.
All right, guys, here is the port all roughed in. Now, I'm not worried about the size of the runners just yet. And I'm actually probably not going to pull that thing back out for us on this video. I know, sad, sad, sad. But um, I don't know, some of the comments, you guys are getting crazy about these measurement stuff. But anyway, um, I am now done with the intake port. It's all roughed in. What I'm going to do is go back over it with a half inch super spiral burr at a slower speed. I'm gonna blend everything in, make sure there's no bumps, and then we're gonna sand it, and then we'll move on to the exhaust. Now we're on to the exhaust. The exhaust has this little knot here and it goes halfway into the port and it's really not needed for where we're going because this is made for the OEM header and we're not using an OEM header. So I would just rip this thing out and that way they're all the same. Now it's made for the OEM header because it's a twin turbo and this is gonna basically make the exhaust gas go towards the header design. Now, let me show you guys something that I was talking about earlier with shapes. When you're making shapes, here is a half inch. And it really doesn't follow the shape of the port. So you can see it's half of a circle and you come into here. And I know a lot of guys are trying to make this shape and a lot of people square it or get it round. And this is why I want to show you this because this is a half inch. And the half inch is okay here. But... The problem is that it doesn't, you still kind of have to make the shape if you mess this up. If you hit it back here or back side of the burr, you are going to change the shape. Now, I know a lot of people get them burrs from China and uh, this is a double cut burr. And the double cut burr, you really have to make sure that you keep that shape because the radius of the burr doesn't really match the radius of the port, so you're always shaping here, and you're trying to make that shape. And that's what I'm talking about because I have to make that shape on the other side of this port. Now, when you use the head games three quarter, look at that. So it's basically there. I can just grind this out, and I know once this burr fits that I am good on my radius. All right, so now we're gonna get into the runner. And the reason why I switched and went to the roof side is because of the guide bosses. Now the guide bosses, per, they, they just don't allow us to get as far deep or make the radius that I need to make on the wall side. So they just have to come out. And I would like to keep them in there, maybe make fins at them, but unfortunately the port is just too small and I won't be able to do that. But you can see we took this out. Uh, this is just roughed in. And now I'm going to rough in the rest of the port 
I'm gonna take these out and uh, just keep watching. Right, guys here is the finished product well kind of sort of so now we're ready for digitizing you will notice the combustion chamber is not done and we did not do the combustion chamber because we have already done the combustion chamber so we're going to reuse that uh, we did a video on it on our pocket for r that's a video with jackson our kitty cat so the pocket for r is basically we just port the area underneath the valve seat the short side radius and the R part is the combustion chamber. That way it gets away from detonation. So we'll take a look at that after it gets CNC'd. Intake port looking delicious. Totally delicious intake port. So you guys saw me, uh, I was shaping. Did a whole bunch of shaping. So I ended up with a half inch. Came in here, came in here. I watched me sand the whole thing. Um, and I tried to give as much information as I could on this. Now you'll see like how this part is reshaped compared to the OEM. And you'll also notice that the roof has changed a little bit. So I raised the roof, kept the circle, and then I narrowed this. I make it kind of like a point. So it's a point that goes all the way back to the divider. I do not move the divider back. And um, yeah, this is the before and uh, here's the after. Let's take a look at the exhaust. And here's the exhaust. You'll see this big knot here. We have guide bosses in here. And all that disappears on this port. Now, I didn't mention, uh, and I should mention, is that I didn't finish saying this. I know you guys are used to seeing me have something that looks nice in here, but it's just going to get CNC. So we're not worried about that. The CNC is actually blind, although we're not blind. The CNC is blind, and it doesn't care what this thing looks like. It does care that the surface finish is flat or if it's sanded, and that makes the information get better. But uh, so we knocked the guy bosses out, and you saw me make a fin right here. There's a very light fin here and a light fin up here on the floor, on the roof, and took the guy bosses out again before and after I did not make the port bigger. So this port is actually the outside diameter here is the same here, 
It's just reshaped inside. All right, so now this thing is ready for CNC. Matt's gonna digitize it. It's gonna be a whole separate video on just digitizing the RB26. If you guys want to see anything, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Love to hear from you. Toodles.